The words drama and Senate don't often get used in the same sentence, but they were today. Senator Patrick Brazo, who last week was charged with assault and sexual assault, reported for work on Parliament Hill today. He surprised everyone when he walked into the Senate. But as Mike LeCouture reports, his fellow senators made sure he didn't stay long. Acting like it was a normal day at the office, Senator Patrick Brazo strolled through the front door of the Senate, brushing aside questions about his removal. Just, just happy to be at work. He came back to the Senate trying to block a motion, putting him on a forced leave, temporarily kicking him out of the upper chamber. The motion, brought forward by his own party leader, says he can't come back until his sexual assault charges are dealt with. I think we're all very upset and disturbed by what happened, and until. Yeah, um, a verdict is made in the justice system. I don't think he belongs in our caucus. Brazo was the only senator who opposed the motion. He left immediately after, again ignoring questions. Now, Brazo has been stripped of all the perks that go along with his position, including a healthy travel budget and staff. But he will continue to collect his $132,000 salary. Now, today's decision comes as a new poll shows a growing number of Canadians favour abolishing the Senate. The poll was conducted after allegations that Mike Duffy, Patrick Brazo, and Liberal Mac Harb were falsely claiming house expenses. An external audit is underway to determine if the three really do live most of the time outside of the Capitol. This is obviously uh, bad news and it hurts the reputation of the Senate and, and frankly it hurts the reputation of the vast majority of senators who work very hard. A lot of attention is being paid to Senator Duffy's living arrangements. He's lived in this Ottawa home for a decade, long before he was appointed to the Senate. Yet he claims his primary home is in Cavendish, Prince Edward Island. Now his colleagues are tired of the controversy and say Duffy should pay the money back, but that's not all. And consider leaving. <laughs> now Senate leaders say that anyone who has falsely claimed that housing allowance will be forced to pay the money back with interest. But at this point, they're not looking at taking any more serious action like kicking the person out of the Senate or criminal charges. Donna? Okay, Mike, look at tour, an update on the Senate situation. Thanks.